Hello and welcome to Topham Chats, the show where I chat to various members of the Rooster community. My guest this week is yet again Andres, or Ace Calante. Hey man, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing great, Mr. Topham. How are you, sir? Yes, I am doing very well. Uh, I should start, really, by saying Merry Christmas, everyone. That's Merry Christmas. And Happy Holidays to all, because it's that time of year. Yeah. Uh, so, it's uh, kind of the second to last episode of 2015. So what I wanted to do is, much like last year, just put out an episode where I look back over what has happened over 2015, all the amazing stuff that's happened, and stuff that I've been enjoying a lot, as well as I hopefully my guest has something to contribute to, rather than it just being me rambling <laughs> for 15 minutes straight. Listen, you rambling for 15 minutes straight is, I mean, like it's my favourite thing. Woo! <laughs> well, maybe I should start doing this. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, so... Over the past year, I've been playing a lot of Destiny. I know that I've been playing a lot of Destiny. I've had a lot of fun doing it. Yes, Destiny. That's been the game that has kept me the most entertained until recently. Which it's been Fallout 4 recently. Um, I guess I, I know that you've been playing a lot of League of Legends this year as well. It's just... It's crazy. It's this year, I've played more League of Legends than I played in the first two years of having like an active account for League of Legends. And I don't know if it's because like I've, I've become more accustomed to the game or I've gotten better at it, so to speak, but like maybe it's just that I have more friends who play it now because I don't play by myself usually. I'm just like, hey, you know, Derek, are you online? Or my friend Ryan, are you online? And then we'll just get together and go at it. Ah, nice. So why else have you been playing aside from League of Legends over the year? Hmm. <sighs> it's not been... Like, for me, it's not, there's not been particularly that many games that I've wanted to play. Then, yeah. Which has a bit, been a bit disappointing, really. Like, Fallout 4's come out, and that's great. But aside from that, there's nothing that really sticks out to me. Maybe Rise of the Tomb Raider, but I haven't played it. Oh, you know, what's funny is that that's actually what I was playing um, before we started uh, recording. It's a great game, man. Like, uh, I, I mean, I played Tomb Raider, the first one, in this new yes. franchise. And now I'm playing the second one. It is amazing, and it definitely fills that desire to like explore and find new things and collect every single item, you know. And it's exciting for me, you know, and I'm, I'm sure it's exciting for anyone who loved the first one in the series as well. But the cool thing is that you can craft ammunition in this one, as opposed to just like finding it, you know. And I, I think maybe you could have crafted it in the second one. I'm sorry, in the first one, but this one is like more on the fly. So like, as you're running around, if you're fighting enemies and you run out of arrows, you can craft more arrows on the run. Oh, nice. And that's really, really awesome. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I, that's one of the games that I'm still looking forward to playing. Like, I'll get to it at some point. But yeah. It's been, yeah, like I said, it's been a bit of a slow year. Like, maybe I'll pick up Halo 5, I'm not sure yet. I'm still, still got to make my way through Halo 1 and 2. <laughs> and, yeah, like I said, I've played too much Destiny this year. It's just been, <laughs> been like, my go-to game. I'm just like, I'll play Destiny for a bit. And then that becomes three hours, and suddenly I'm like, oh, why did I not get anything done today? Oh yeah, wait a second, that's why. <laughs> yeah, my game would definitely be League of Legends on that point. Like, I get home and I'm like, alright, let's play some League of Legends. And then it's 9 o'clock and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I should probably go to sleep. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, cool. So, one of the other things, big things that happened during the year was RTX, which was amazing. I got to meet you, I got to meet Rachel, I got to meet Raph and Derek and Jury's more people <laughs> so many people that i'm not going to list them all off because that wastes so much time yeah <laughs> but it, yeah i had an absolutely amazing time got to meet so many people had so much fun and it really just highlights to me that the community is absolutely amazing and that we kind of need now that we're on the new site a resurgence in activity there like there's lots of activity in the last uh, in Birmingham and met up with a whole bunch of people at different comic conventions that have been in the UK and it's just awesome to see people all the together. I just think it's really hard to see the front of the Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. RTX is... Yeah, it's, that's exactly what I was going to say. RTX is amazing. It's such a great experience because I, this is my first, second, uh, third year going? Uh, or having gone, I should say. And this is actually the first year that I've met up with other members of the RT community and like met my closest friends, you know, and, and like you and I met for the first time and it was just like 
there wasn't even any like oh hey nice to meet you blah 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 it was just like oh what's up Excal? what's up topham <laughs> I was like, cool, let's just chill out and just like do what we would do had we known each other for a long time, which is typically what those kind of things are like, which is awesome. And it's like, oh yeah, we're off going to go head to lunch, come with us. And she's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Exactly. And it would be, that was it. That was it. It was, it was so good. So much fun. And it's just, yeah, it's just so easy to pick up with everyone and just be like, yes, this is what's happening. Um, yeah. Sticking on Rooster Teeth content and stuff as well, what have you enjoyed over the year? Oh man! New shows that they've introduced, or just the podcast has been okay. I've not really been keeping up on it as much as I could. But yeah, entertaining. I mean, the podcast has always been the like major thing for me. That you know, like mm -hmm. it's what keeps me coming back every week. You know, just like oh, awesome podcast is on. But what I've liked recently is um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna forget the name of the show. Um, the one with Megan and, and Ryan. Free play. Free play. There we go. It is such uh, such a funny series. And um, I, I recently watched also uh, Sports Ball, an, an episode of that. Mm. I'm not a huge, you know, like I'm not into, you know, a lot of sports. I like, you know, yeah. um, soccer and I, I like hockey and rugby. But they're funny and, and, you know, they bring comedy along with it. So where I might not know what they're talking about whenever they're like, oh, yeah, the, you know, big Pac-12 or whatever. That's American football. That's just like, oh, I have no idea what that is, but they're being funny and I like it. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I've not watched an episode of Sports Ball because it's just not my kind of thing. But Free Play's been definitely one of the things that I'm like, yes, I really want to watch that, but I've not really been keeping up with it too well. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, like the. It was this year that Funhouse joined them, and that's been great as well because that that introduced me to all of those guys. And I was just like, okay, this is awesome. This is, this is a. Yeah, a whole new set of people that are very good at what they do and yeah just a fantastic like everything that they do i really enjoy so that's that's really handy and i'm just i find myself skipping over some of the things that achievement hunter have been doing as well but that's mainly when they're playing horror games and they're watching like i don't really want to right yeah but house fills in that voice podcast as well which is really in depth on like one or two topics which is really nice. absolutely it's 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 like I mean, and, and they're, they're video game journalists, you know, or that's what they were prior to being what they are now. And so, like, you get Lawrence who will just come out and just be like, all right, well, we're going to talk about video games. And we're going to go super in-depth in this. And you you know the funny, and, and you see them being funny, but then they actually, like, slow down for a minute, and they're very serious, and they talk about gaming and the gaming industry, and it's it's really insightful just to hear what they have to say because they, they know the industry and it's awesome to hear all the knowledge that they have and be like oh i never thought about this certain subject in this way but it makes sense that way yeah definitely and yeah it's been pretty cool with the um fun house and then d them just popping up randomly in the sheep hunter and Rooster stuff right which, yeah so Oh my god, I was laughing all of last week because Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman's podcast all over the Babylon. <laughs> we both know. That came out last last week's one was all Liam Neeson cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> An hour and 40 minutes. I was in hysterics and I listened to it at work as well. <laughs> Luckily, no one else was in the lab, so I was okay. But yeah, it was hilarious. It was and then I had to explain it while I was chatting to people and playing games with them like, on Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> I like I, I explained it to them and they're like this doesn't make any sense. It's just like just Google it, find it on YouTube. But yeah, Kevin Smith's been like a constant source of inspiration for me this year, which has been really handy because it's always him talking on Jane's side of the pop, get old, which has been really cool to hear Jason Mew's side of things as well because he became a father this year as well. Right. Which is just yeah, like him talking about that. He's like yeah, yeah. It's like so passionate about life at the moment as well. Which is amazing. Yeah, because I listened to Garney and all kinds of things, raging at the celebrities. I know more about pop culture this year and just like everything than, than I have done in so long. Oh, yeah, just absolutely. Of that it's, like, it's making me keep up with stuff. Insane. I love it. If you, if you uh, ever listen to the audio book for Kevin Smith's um, Tough Shit, like he just make jokes about Liam Neeson's cock all the time. He's like, "Oh man, this thing was huge. It was bigger than Liam Neeson's cock." And I'm just like, "That's so weird, but I love it." <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, man. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. So what else has gone on here? Like, this is the first year in my memory 
going back 11 years, maybe 12 years, that I haven't gone to a festival in the summer. Like, I haven't actively gone to a festival and seen a bunch of bands um, because I went to RTX instead. So this year I've like cut down the amount of bands that I've seen. However, I have been to some amazing gigs and I still look forward, looking forward to going to some as well. But yeah. like, the gigs this year have been good, but they've been the smaller kind of gigs. My dad's just been like, oh, let's go to this. And he'll just like buy tickets. It's really cool to just go and chill out with him for a while as well. Because that's like one way to get my attention. Like, oh yeah, let's go see music. And then I can like <laughs> wax lyrical about bands we're seeing. It's like, yes, this is all my knowledge. And then we'll get to the end of the night and it's like, you got nothing else to say? I was like, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> He's like, yes, I've done well. I'm like, oh dear. No, it's, it's awesome. I, I think for me, the biggest thing that I did this year was uh, I traveled alone. You know, I, I drove to Austin, which, I mean, granted, for me, it's a three, you know, three hour drive. For you guys that are, you know, from England, it's a lot longer of a plane ride. Um, yeah. But I, I traveled alone, which is something I'd never done before. And I was definitely nervous about it. Um, but I mean, once I got to Austin, it was just like easy. And this year, like, uh, uh, man, the end of the year has been awesome for me. Like, beginning, middle of the year, not so great. End of the year, not so great. A plus. <laughs> um, yeah. I got a new car this year. Uh, I started work on Sleeping Lions with Deco. Um, I'm actually in the process of getting the Ain't Say Much podcast back. I bought some equipment that I needed. Um, and hopefully within the next two weeks, we will have everything sorted out and then be able to start recording podcasts again. So, oh, awesome. the funny thing is that <laughs> if we start recording right around that time, it'll be the exact time whenever we stopped recording at the beginning of this year. <laughs> and so I was like, man, what we should do is just pick up right where we left off and pretend that the year didn't even go by. Yeah, sounds about right. Like, nothing happened yeah. in 2015. Nothing so happened might as well at all. Exactly where I left off. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and yeah, for me, like, I've been doing this podcast for like a year and a half now, which is awesome. Like, that's super exciting this is what so 76 as far as i can remember nice it means i'm only like two off half a year no it's not yeah it must be two off a year and a half so that's fine and yeah things are things are going well with it i'm happy as long as i'm making making it i'm just like yeah i just want to keep continuing because it's it's enjoyable and i get to chat to friends and i get to discuss things that are current and it's a lot of fun yeah exactly but, yeah I think the only things really left to talk about that happened over the last year was that I was actively trying, like, set at the beginning of the year, my goal for the year in, like, my fitness kind of terms was to get my black belt in Taekwondo, which I managed to do, and that was, like, one of the... I managed to get it, I was like, yes! It was such a, such a relief, and I was like, stressing about it so much, I was like, All what if I don't pass? Ah! <laughs> I don't know, but, yeah. That's awesome, man, that's, that's a huge achievement. I got my black belt, I'm just like, so, yeah, so ready. So I was, like, I was already ready to do the grading like, when, I was at, when I was at RTX. I was like physically ready and everything was going well. So it was just, yeah, just, it, was, it was great to finally, like have, I was working for it for like just over three years as well. So it's really a nice payoff to have that belt wrap around. Absolutely, man. Yeah, such a thing that I think. It's also been like over the last few years. Like this year's been my, my quietest year for actually writing and recording music and putting things out. But it's just things have things have been okay. Like, I put and started a project in the middle of the year, and then I've got like two or three more songs to write, for that, and then I'll just finish like, what I would consider my first album. And so it's just like, maybe over the next year. I'll... So, 2015, pretty okay. The beginning of it was, eh. Yeah, I mean, like, the beginning was, like, all right, this year might be okay. And the middle was just, like, nope. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, towards, you know, the back end of it, now that, you know, I, I, essentially after RTX, you know, things got a lot better. And I just, I mean, I, I went through a lot of downs right around that middle part of the year. Um, and, like, I, you know, I tell people about it just because, you know, someone out there might be dealing with the same issues. And it's, it's a nice... It's a nice thing to be able to just be like, hey, I need someone to talk to, and you might know what I'm going through. So it's pretty awesome. And, you know, like I've met a lot of people, and I've had a lot of support from my friends and my family, you know, and I've made myself better than what I was, which is, I mean, ultimately the goal. Like, you have to feel happy about who you are and, and essentially love yourself. And, you know, towards the end of this year, that's definitely what I've done, you know, thanks to like some of my best friends, Bonnie, Rachel, 
um, can, you know, everybody from, you know, our, our little group that we have, it's, it's, you, you never realize how important your friends are until you absolutely need them. And then you realize who your friends are whenever you need them because they're the people who, even though you're pushing them away, they stay right by you and they're just like, hey, I'm, you're stuck. <laughs> So. Yeah. Friends are Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think that's like the most important thing to, to think about from this year, especially having met you know so many new friends at RTX. It's it's friends. 2015 is friends. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much for being my guest. Absolutely, man. And um, with that, thank you everyone for listening and happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone.